So the three segments, the three domestic segments that we're going to talk about today are the three that Falcha Ireland can tell you categorically are presenting the best prospects for Irish tourism. So for Ireland Inc, broadly speaking, if we target these three segments effectively, if we target them properly and get them to take more holidays, these three segments will deliver a bigger return for Irish tourism than any other combination of three segments in the Irish market, if that, if that makes sense. Okay, great. Um, so this kind of information is really important to us in Falcher Ireland, uh, first of all, because, it, like, like Jenny mentioned, it allows us to really target the consumers who are going to give Irish tourism the bigger uh, return. And you'll see that already in our new marketing campaign. That's the hashtag This Is Living campaign, which you may have seen on TV or you've heard the radio ads or whatever. After this presentation today, anytime you see one of our TV ads, the Discover Ireland TV ads, or you hear a radio ad, or you see a press ad, or you see a digital display ad, you'll know, well, yes, that ad's all clearly targeting that segment, and that ad is uh, targeting that segment. So we're trying to be as efficient as possible. We spend about 3 million euro marketing uh, holidays in Ireland to people in Ireland every year. It's a lot of money. Uh, it's exchequer funds, so it's your money and it's my money. So we have a responsibility to make sure that we're targeting the right people. Um, now, I'm not saying that the three segments today that we're going to talk about are necessarily the right segments for you. That's for you to make that assessment. Okay, so I'm just generally talking about Ireland Inc. Um, uh, tourism. So that's how it's important to fall to Ireland because it allows us to better direct our funds to the right people. Uh, but for you then, and as Ginny said, it'll allow you to do the same thing. So you probably have uh, limited marketing resources as well. So this will allow you, hopefully, target the right people. Uh, but also it'll help you maybe develop your own products or your own businesses or experiences so that they appeal to the wants and needs of these uh, segments. Um, okay, so we'll, we'll clip on. Who are they? So the first of our segments is connected families, we're calling them. It's a family segment, obviously. The word connected points to the fact that they're looking for a connection. So they're looking for quality time, they're looking to bond with each other, quality time together, parents and kids, that's connected families. And they make up about 23% of the Irish uh, adult market. So that's their pretty large segment. They're the largest of all of the segments, so they're always going to be uh, important uh, for us. The second segment is footloose socialisers. For the socialisers are groups of friends, groups of couples going away of all ages, going away for lots of weekends around the country to catch up and spend some time together. They make up about 15% of the Irish market. And the third then are indulgent romantics, we're calling them. Indulgent romantics, we're probably all an indulgent romantic at some stage through the year, like to get away with our partner, go to a luxury hotel, really reward ourselves, escape from the stress, and st uh, the stress of our daily lives and just kind of get away from it all. And that's what indulgent romantics want to do. And they make up about 14% uh, of the Irish market. So we'll start with connected families, and we'll begin each of these segments with a very short introductory uh, video, just to give you a synopsis kind of, of what they're all about. Connected families occupy a large segment of the Irish market at 23%. They know that family holidays are the best time of the year and believe careful planning is the secret to creating memories that last a lifetime. Life can be hectic, so the luxury of spending quality time together is rare and precious. Holidays are an opportunity to grow as a family. Whether they're having fun trying out new activities like cycling or kayaking, or just doing ordinary things like going for a picnic or playing in a beach, as long as they're doing it together, they're happy. Now, if only they didn't have to wait until next year to do it all again. So that's Connected Families in a nutshell. Uh, like I said already, they make up a really large percentage of the Irish adult market. At 23%, chances are one in four of us in this room would fall into a Connected Family uh, segment. So the, they tend to be a little bit younger, the Connected Family parents. Uh, they tend to be maybe, in fact about 50% of them will be between 25 and 44 in or about. So they tend to be a little bit younger. They are families, so they tend to have kids, generally under the age uh, of 10. They're very busy people, um, so the holidays for connected families are a really unique opportunity, an important opportunity to spend some quality time with their children. So what they want to get away, they want to do loads of activities together, they want to share loads of experiences, build memories, and uh, memories that they can talk about for months and years to come after the holidays. What they don't necessarily want to do is they don't necessarily want to go to a hotel where they can put the kids into a kids club and they can be looked after and have a fun day and the parents can go off and they'll have a glass of wine or whatever it is and put their feet up. That's not necessarily what they're looking for. I mean, there are parents who do want that and that's great, but the connected family parents in particular are looking for a little bit more of that quality time together. They're looking to bond with their children, you know, share experiences, share activities together. The, the decision makers in connected family, uh, families tend to be the women, so the women tend to be the decision makers there. They're meticulous planners, they'll start planning maybe uh, six, six months out to make sure that every aspect of their holiday in Ireland 
is perfect. They don't want to leave anything to chance. So from day one of the holiday, they're going to be researching, okay, well, what do we do in the morning? What we, where do we go for lunch? Where can we picnic? What do we do in the afternoon? What activities can we share? What can we learn together? Are they learn two experiences that we can do? Uh, and they'll be looking for accommodation like family-friendly hotels or self-catering accommodation where they can have uh, a little bit of uh, freedom. So they will do a lot of research into their, into their destination that they choose to go to. They really want to get under the skin of that destination, find out all the hidden gems. And particularly, they'll put a lot of research into finding what are the experiences and the activities that they can share together as a family, parents and kids together. So then, uh, for the parents, it's all about their children. It's, it's all about their children being happy. Um, so they really want to spend, they want to be with their children. That's essentially what they want. They want to really spend that quality time together and be with their children. They're seeking to create special memories that they can treasure, sharing experiences that they can finally look back on for the months and years to come. So what might a great break look like for a connected family? So what might 24 hours a day in the life of a connected family on holiday in Ireland look like? Well, for example, a connected family might check into a family room in the Tower Hotel across the road, kick off the holiday with a theatrical epic tour of the Viking uh, Triangle, then off to Dunmore East for an afternoon of fun activities for all the family at the Dunmore East Adventure Centre, then dinner in the Lemon Tree Cafe nearby, and then head back to the hotel for an early night. Next morning, up and out, after breakfast, head down for a dip in the pool before heading off to Tremor to do an eco walk. So, a nice learning experience um, starting off from the Oceanics uh, Surf School. Maybe have a picnic on a beach in Tremor before heading along to uh, Anastown Beach to walk along, um, walk along the Anne Valley Nature Trail uh, to the ruins of Dunhill Castle, all part of the Copper Coast Geopark. So, it'll be a busy day. They, they, they'll, it'll be a busy day for connected families. They'll put a lot of research into it and uh, making sure that there's lots of different things for them to enjoy uh, together over the course of the day. So that's to give you an, just an idea as to what they might like to do um, uh, while they're on holidays down in, in, in Waterford. Okay, so I've touched on some of this already, but what are their key behaviours then? Like I said, they do like to plan in advance, so they'll plan maybe uh, six months out. They're very price conscious as well, so they'll be, they'll be looking for deals, deals in good value as well. The average family break lasts between four and seven nights. So not only are they the largest segment out there in the Irish adult market, but they also, they also um, spend a lot of time in their destination. So uh, that's also another reason why they're re really important. And actually, another important point to note from, from Fault Ireland's point of view um, in relation to this segment is that they, because they engage in so many activities during their stay, they're distributing their spend across a lot of different businesses. You know, unlike, for example, the indulgent romantics, which we'll talk about a little bit later on, but unlike the couple who go away to the luxury hotel for the weekend where a lot of their spend is directed into the hotel and hotel facilities, uh, connected families are spending their money across a lot of different businesses in the destination that they're going for, and that's another reason why they're really, really important. They rely heavily on hotel and accommodation websites. Um, they tend to stay, like I said, in uh, family-friendly hotels or self-catering accommodation, and they do like to peer, peer review and personal recommendations are really important for all of their segments, for all of these segments that I'm going to talk about today. So they do like coming back, having taken loads of photographs, inviting their friends over, they might have kids too, tell them all about it so that their friends can benefit from their experience. And like, you know, the same, they want to get that information back from their own friends so that they, they can have an even better holiday <coughs> next time around. So personal recommendation, obviously really important, goes without saying for all of these segments really. Uh, and so much so, in fact, that they like to share the holiday photos uh, on Facebook with their friends when they get back as well. So that's essentially what Connected Families are all about, just in a nutshell. I think it probably gives you a good idea of what, what they're all about. And I'm going to show you our ad, which you may have seen already. This is the Discover Ireland um, hashtag. This is Living Ad, one of them. And this is the ad that we're specifically using to target connected families. On my favourite holiday, I would like to do lots of running, make a new friend, surf, lie in the sand, ice cream, jump on the bed and go fishing. And I'd like to find loads of treasure too. Touch a dolphin, make a big splash with my dad, and stay up very late and hold a star. So I hope you've seen that ad on TV already, and I hope you like it. It's very different from anything that, fought, that, we've, that we've done before. And all of that footage in the middle of that ad, incidentally, is footage that we source from people from the real holidays in Ireland. So we put a call out on social media to send in some real footage, and it's got a really nice, authentic feel to it. And she's extremely cute, that girl, uh, Robin. She's lovely. Um, and so much so, in fact, we're getting great response from that ad. Yesterday in Cork, where we had another meeting like this, and Peter and Jenny were there as well, uh, one of the, one of the uh, delegates there said that every time she sees it still, she still gets goosebumps, and I think that's nice. And I've heard that a couple of times, so that's really nice. I think we're, we've got that one right.